We're on to multiplying fractions in video 10 of the fractions video series, so let's have a look. Okay, multiplying fractions. Now we just got through uh, in the previous two videos uh, adding fractions um, and subtracting fractions. We had an obligation in those questions, in those types of topics, to um, change them so they have the same bottom first. That got tricky. This is an absolute blessing, this rule. When we're multiplying fractions, we only have to multiply across the top and get an answer. 4 times 2 is 8 on the top there. Second bit is multiply across the bottom. 5 times 3 is 15. And we just have to check if we can simplify that. Uh, we can't simplify 8 over 15 any further. So the multiplying is a bit strange. The multiplying rule for fractions uh, is uh, much easier in a way, in many ways, than um, adding fractions and subtracting fractions, particularly if we have to change the bottoms in those cases. So, yep, that's all it is there. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, multiply across the top, and we get 6. Multiply across the bottom, and we get 20. Now step 3 has to kick in here, simplify. It is possible to simplify this down further. Can you see that 2 goes into the top? three times and two goes into the bottom ten times. It's important that we divide the top and bottom by the same number in that situation to simplify six twentieths down into three tenths. So no need when you're multiplying fractions to turn them into the same bottoms or anything like that. We just multiply across the top and across the bottom. So it's quite a nice rule. Using a calculator of course you type the numbers in using your fraction buttons and a multiply between them and then you press equals. Calculator is pretty good for multiplying fractions. Okay, that's only a short video because it's a nice simple rule that one. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and simplify if you can. See you next time for dividing fractions.